Hi everyone. It has been a minute, a hot minute. I feel like I'm learning how to do this all over again. I gotta look right there. So I have been offline for about two weeks. And the reason for that is I have been traveling. And then when I got back home, I had to go right back to work really quick. Today is Tuesday, the 26th. And I have um, finally found a moment where I felt like I needed to sit down and update the video, the blog, the vlog about where I've been and what I'm learning and, and uh, how I want to move forward from here. So, uh, intentionally starting out this, I wanted to be very transparent. I am not interested in editing videos, making cute meme, or really building up a following. That's not why I'm doing this. But there are a few who have expressed that they've enjoyed hearing uh, testimony and scripture and just hearing my thoughts on it, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm that great. But um, this is the platform for Jesus. That's what it comes down to. So I need to get out of the way and I need to just be vulnerable and available whenever he asks me to do something. So when I feel called to sit here and do this, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but here I am and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because what I have noticed in the analytics is that the first two minutes is when you have someone's attention. Unfortunately, that's just the way of society now. Um, we're constantly scrolling and passing up videos so quickly. Um, but what I would tell you is if you invest the time in spending with people who want to talk about Jesus, you don't walk away empty handed. You kind of had this, uh, I, I would like to call it inspiration to know that God is working in and around your life and you start to look at things differently and you start to see things a little bit differently too. So while you're scrolling and while you're just checking things out, you know, sometimes you need to slow down and just pay attention. I have, um, I've been filling up my notebook with journaling. Uh, I've had some really incredible experiences sitting at his feet, if you will, um, learning and getting to know him better. And it's only happening because I'm slowing down and I'm paying attention. I'm yielding, so to speak, um, to being, being able to hear him better, if that's the right word. I want that for everyone, but sometimes we have to be encouraged to do that. And there's not a lot of encouragement out there unless you're seeking it. What I'd like to do is be able to, you know, so to speak, jump into your inbox and have you be surprised or even blessed by what you get to hear. So, that said, um, I came across these really cool note cards that have like daily scripture verses and they've been sitting on my dresser in a bowl and I used to just pick them up randomly and read them for myself and I thought I would share one with you today randomly so the first one here is John 15 11 and it says I have told you these things so my joy may be in you and your joy may be full you know, aren't we always looking for that joyful feeling, that joyful moment in our life? Don't we all want that? Isn't that something that we all gravitate towards? It's not the negatives of this life, but we're looking for something that's going to give us a, a belly laugh or even just a moment to, you know, smile about something, whatever it is. Um, Jesus said those words. That's what's so encouraging that if you open up his word in red letters it says i have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy so he's telling you before and after this statement he's telling you i have loved you even as the father has loved me and remain in my love and when you obey my commandments you remain in my love just as i obey the father's commandments and remain in his love 
Remember what Jesus said before he left and he told his disciples what he wanted them to do? There was two, there was a question about which is the greatest commandment. And Jesus answered very, very simply, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul and love your neighbor as yourself. Those are his commandments. And he says, when you obey my commandments, when you love the Lord your God, and when you love your neighbor, you are remaining in his love. So it's not hard to do. It's just a matter of choosing to do it. He then tells you in John 15, 11, I've told you these things so that you can be filled with my joy. That is where the spice of life comes from right there. He wants you to be joyful, but the only way to do that is to obey the commands that he has given us. That's what keeps us remaining in him. Then when you read the rest of the Bible in context, you'll find out all of that works together. All of it. It's so much easier when we're going through this life doing the right thing and trying to do the right thing in Christ than doing it by ourselves. We're never happy. We're, we'll look for some sort of a sense of, of happiness, whether it be buying something or going somewhere or participating in something. But that happiness is so short that we look again for the next best feeling. And oftentimes that can lead us into destructive behaviors and habits. This is where the enemy comes in and starts to weave his web of lies in your life and try to tell you that you don't need you, that, that you're going to be fine and that you'll be just fine without him. Well, I'm here to tell you today that you have no chance in this life to get through it and live without Jesus. That's what I'm finding out. That's what I'm learning in this age. This next week, I'm gonna turn 49 years old. It's taken me 49 years to come to this place to realize that I have no joy without having Jesus in my life. Friend, if you want that joy, take an opportunity to sit with him. Ask him to show you what you need to know. It's very simple. He wants us to love one another. He wants us to love God and he wants us to try. That's all you need to do. What else is that simple in this life that gives eternal salvation, that gives the type of joy that you cannot buy, that you cannot earn? It's free. All you have to do is choose them. I hope today finds you all doing well. If you have a special prayer request or something that's going on in your life that you just need to voice and vent, feel free to private message me. I am always available. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. You can leave me a message on here and I will reach out to you. Just give me your email. Anyway, um, you guys be blessed and I will see you next time. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Bye-bye.